site was once the stuff of science fiction, but now it's becoming a reality. Scientists in America have developed a bionic eye implant which could help restore some vision to millions of blind people. Our science correspondent, Christine McGurty, reports now from California. Almost, a little soft. No one expects grandma to play like a professional, but for Linda Morfoot, that any ball goes in is amazing. She's totally blind. The small circle in her glasses is a camera, and some clever electronics turns the images into patterns of dark and light. It may not sound like much, but for Linda, it's made a huge difference. Instead of having to listen for what's around me or who's around me, or to feel what's around me or who's around me, I can actually see them again. So how does her eye implant work? It's designed for people who are blind because light receiving cells in the retina are damaged. An implant is attached to the retina to bypass the damaged cells. Images from the camera are sent to a processing unit and onto a receiver behind the ear. They're then transmitted along a wire under the skin to electrodes on the implant. That sends pulses along the optic nerve to the brain where they're turned into patterns of light. This is it. The implant is a little sliver of plastic with electrodes embedded inside. It's light and flexible and feels a bit like an ordinary contact lens. But it's a tiny piece of magic with the ability to transform some people's lives. When the first operation was carried out, no one knew just how the eye would respond. But now a new trial is set to begin with 50 to 100 patients and a new improved implant. I have a vertical black bar pasted on the wall. What I'd like you to do is scan your head back and forth and just point to the object when you find it. Linda's sight is rudimentary. Scientists can't be sure exactly what she's seeing. Here, the computer gives some idea. Each circle represents one of the 16 electrodes on the implant. With 60 electrodes, the new implant should provide much better definition like this. We hope that it'll provide orientation type vision, allow these subjects do not bump into tables, chairs, be able to know where the doors are, where the window is, uh, be, able to, be able to even recognize the overall form of a person. Daily life for Linda has improved and the hope is that one day others like her might recognize faces and perhaps even read. Christine McGurty, BBC News in California. And that's it for now. We'll be back for another Best of the Ten next week. Bye for now.